Good morning, everybody, and happy Friday. Did not look at the weather yet. I know it's like 35 degrees outside, but let me just double check. <clears throat> oh, well, today would have been my friend that passed away last week. Uh, it would have been his 46th birthday today, so. 34 degrees, 1 degree Celsius. So, a little, little sad, uh, you know, on that whole fact. But uh, I get ready to leave here 6.30 till... Uh, 1.30 today, so. <coughs> I'm rushing, but I actually have, like, almost 20 minutes yet until I have to leave. 19 minutes till I have to leave. Oh, man. Not ready for this. So, I'm not deleting any of the footage yet because I got more drive footage from yesterday, so it'll be another separate drive video. Trying to keep the long ones. I haven't figured out music yet either. I mean, the only thing I have would copyright me, so, and I don't want to make it too fast, but I've got probably another four hours of footage from yesterday combined camera-wise, and I haven't figured exactly how I'm doing it. The clips are too long to send them to the iPhone and have the overlay put on it for the whole thing, so I'm thinking the back camera might be like a rearview mirror style on top of the other one. I just don't know if that's going to mess up what you see. Maybe I'll put the rearview mirror at the lower portion of the video. So this is why those videos haven't come out yet. I haven't decided exactly how I want to do them. But I do want to get them out there. I have I have to download the footage into the, fo into the folder I made for it from the pocket and the Action 5 from yesterday just as a dry video. <clears throat> and something I want to test too with the Action 5 is whether or not if I'm using the remote and I'm in time lapse if it actually will give me the data so going forward instead of having raw footage the whole way i can set it up in time lapse and still get the and make it file size smaller because there'll be no audio so that's another test i need to do uh maybe this afternoon we'll do that i don't know starting to get that little bit of a kind of that sore throat thing thing not too bad it's like it comes and goes I feel like the sickness is trying to get me back, but I'm fighting it, so. Alrighty, get ready to go to work. Uh, see if there's anything to eat and find some Uncrustables take to work. Uh, I don't want to do this. <laughs> it's not feeling it this morning too much. Oh, no wonder I had no heat yesterday because it's under frost. Oh well, that'll work. Pretty soon, yeah, I feel, I hear a little bit of frost on the, uh, Not sure what's going on with my music there. Actually connected this morning though. Yeah, I gotta make sure I clean the windshield in this thing though, because those spots in when the sun's hitting this car, oh man, there's it's it's horrible. Kind of on the fence about Sunday. <clears throat> Cause that Kanazuno Bridge, I think that, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right, the one I've posted a couple times. Tim sent me a thing that the week before it was almost ready for, you know, the, the, the best viewing for autumn leaves to now that it's past it before a week has even expired. So he's a little con confused on how that is. Um, and honestly, after seeing Wiser yesterday, I'm a little suspect that it's not going to be the best because, I mean, we drove around the entire area. Um, like I said, 122 miles we went yesterday. So I don't really know if the drive through is worth it or if Tim's plan on going to the Collapse Bridge is a better option. The difference is it's like two and a half hours away. Um, dogs are not allowed on the platform, but as long as I have Tim, one of us can go out and do our shooting and then the other one can go out and do the shooting. So, and I looked at the <clears throat> charging cover again today on eBay. Basically, I just, I, for some reason, I don't trust AliExpress. eBay seems like it would be a more, um, trustworthy place to buy the covers for 
The ones you can get for like $39 are coming out of China and will take like a dozen weeks. Whereas the ones in the US, I think the one would have been here between the 20th and the 22nd if I ordered it today. Um, sorry, I can't see. <laughs> It's just the $50. I mean, I have not paid the $1,000 plus dollar Verizon bill yet that was due on the 7th. And buying a $50 cover for a freaking camera port seems a little stupid. But I'm going to have to put it, if Tim's going to pay me next paycheck, then I'm going to have to put the one back on it from his. And the 5 will be without a cover for until I can afford to get one. I just think that's absolutely asinine from DJI, and it's just very frustrating. So, I'm not the only one. People are very irate with them about it. <clears throat> they were available on Amazon, but now they're out of stock, and they're not unknown when it's coming back in. I, why? It's got to be the most lost piece of the camera. Because you have to open that port to charge the damn thing. And if you're doing like any type of long footage, you're going to plug it in. And that's, I still feel like <coughs> I knew it came off at Best Buy. But I looked through this entire car. I have looked through my entire bag. I've emptied it. I can't find it. I thought maybe I put it in my pocket, which means I put it in my little basket. Looked in another pair of fuck, another pair of pants. I, and um, yeah, so... I don't know. Cause, and the thing is, the, the one from the 4 does not fall off when I unplug the camera. So there was something wrong with that door to begin with. I might have actually closed it up and it, and it fell off anyway on the, on the trip. I don't know. Because it, it seems really stupid that I would have take, unplugged that camera and not closed that door. So, and now I'm paying for it. Or will be. Alrighty, Mike is connected. Oh, I'm sore. Probably from yesterday, and I didn't realize how much I did. I never did blow the uh, patio off, so I got to do that yet today. I don't think I'm setting the camera up to just run the blower, but nonetheless. And obviously, there's a lot of drive footage that I was talking about earlier that's not there yet. I don't know what to do with that yet. I'm really at a loss, music-wise. I have tracks, I'll just get a copyright strike. I mean, it's not like I'm making a dime off any video anyway, even if it is monetized, which I don't even know if it is. So, I guess I shouldn't worry about it. Just do what I can and get them out there. Waiting for the stereo to fire up before we go. So, I now know why you don't use um, third-party GoPro feet. This whole thing you're on literally rocks side to side. That is just not, not cool. So, I'm like, why is it leaning? And I like, put pressure down and it went, eh. <laughs> so it must be space in there or something. It could be tightened up a bit more, but I need my screwdriver to do it. It's fine. Okay, we don't need blazing heat. It is actually warm out today. 71 according to the car. Let's take a quick gander. But according to the app, it is 64 degrees, 18 degrees Celsius. You know, the car's been sitting in the sun, so we'll give it some credit. Probably a little bit cooler than that. Uh, I don't know what I want to do besides strip my bed, remake my bed, and lay in my bed. Because I, I just am hurting. So. But that's no fun for a video, of course, and I do that every day. This job is uh, it's a lot different than in Walmart. <laughs> a lot more physical which I kind of like better. I really wish I could quit saying kind of because I understate things. I felt like I was rude this morning about my friend's passing and it being his birthday and all that stuff with the word kinda. It's not kinda sad, it is sad. And I apologize for my crappy vocabulary.
All right, nothing fancy here. So I opened that section of fence to blow leaves out, and I opened this section of fence. Even though the door is right here, it's just not quite wide enough just to get around the step and stuff. Still got some crap back here, but I really don't feel like moving the cinder block to get in there right now. I don't. I don't feel real good. To be honest with you, I feel very, very lethargic and weak. But uh, did get the Adirondack chairs in side which i was kind of surprised about because i didn't think i was going to get them in that they fit up on top i put the uh, floor mats for the car that we found for like 4.99 over the glass table so hopefully that protects it from getting broken the only problem is that tote back there is christmas so right now i have halloween out and there's a bunch of christmas stuff i don't know what i'm gonna do for that still have a mess in here i mean we got so many potted plants and everything Honestly, my tool bag shouldn't be on the floor. I should get it up there because water runs through here and that's not good. But that, I'm afraid if I put it in, I'll trip on it. So I'm probably gonna throw that back in this corner. And then the table goes back in the corner. The rug, I can get in there yet because that's small. And the weights, I think I'm gonna put underneath over here too. I don't think I'm gonna bother putting them inside. And just the wicker chair will get a tarp. I might put a tarp over all these chairs just to protect them from the weather. Oh, I didn't realize I still had another propane bottle just in case. But both of these, this one's probably three quarters full and that one is full full. So, beautiful afternoon. Just, I just don't feel right. Of course, I haven't eaten, so my blood sugar is probably low. That's probably the problem. You know, it's really weird because every time I film with the iPhone, if I'm talking this way to it, there's supposed to be all these microphones, but it sounds horrible. When I'm looking, when I'm filming away from me, voice is crystal clear makes no sense whatsoever to me of course my hand probably is blocking it right now the way i'm holding the phone maybe because those mics but that mic should be picking me up i don't know it's just weird oh man didn't lay down yet tim and i had a conversation so it looks like sunday's plans have changed we're gonna do the kamazulu bridge kinzulu bridge kinzua 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 bridge um hopefully Weather's supposed to be beautiful. Dogs are allowed. He made multiple phone calls to them today. No reservations needed. They're not going to have it closed for equipment being moved in for the work that's going on next year with it. And uh, I said the leaves are not beyond peak. They're, you know, some of the, because of the winds, there's some trees that are bare, but most of them are very colorful yet. So excited for that. Alrighty, well that's basically a wrap. Just blow it off one more time with since I just trimmed inside. Hopefully that's the last time. I just did the, like the edge here where it falls off because we're along their line of stopping just to make it look a little better for us because down there it doesn't look too bad. And I'm not going to worry about the leaves in the yard because they'll be mowing again probably another two weeks. Beautiful, such a beautiful night. And I was just noticing our tree from his side is really beautiful too, especially with the sun at this angle. Let's try that at 2x. All right, Stinky Dinky Doo and I are taking a quick little lap. Patio is all closed up. Yay! As you've seen, just the blower and the trimmer has been all put away now. So we are good. And Mr. is holding. It. Got a really nice picture of this tree that's above us All right now now that wide angle works out nice for this anywho got a snapshot with the iphone come on go down then we're going to go through the playground then we're going to come back up then we're going to check the mail yeah we've got things to do little buddy come on little buddy he sees other people yes well while i was on the phone with tim i decided to uh clear out the timeline and redo my normal color profiling stuff so saturation and all that so we'll see if it looks a little different today because i've upped the saturation to 25 percent because i really want the leaves on the trees to pop so and then i took my mid-tones and highlights down only negative 10. so that hopefully when you see this it looks really really brilliant as long as the sun's not in the lens yeah i thought i was catching this tree from behind the playground now i was catching the back side of that tree which is definitely getting very orange now just a little bit of green on the bottom side here but for the most part 
Well, we did a boom boom out on the patio, so we should be good on this walk for no boom booms. But you never know with this guy. He's a he's a double deucer sometimes. But uh, it was a uh, it was a truckload. <laughs> Just got a good shot of that one. I'm really surprised this one back here isn't going yet. Eh, maybe a little bit. It's hard to say with how much sun there is right now. I could really use a pair of sunglasses. Where are you taking me, little man? Should we cross over here and go to the go to the playground? Then come back up the other side? He's like, I'm sniffing. Leave me alone. I'm thinking. He's like, I'm gonna pee on this sign. Remind people, no soliciting. And the speed limit is only 15, not 150. <laughs> For those younger viewers, I must sound like a father a lot of times, don't I? Maybe I'm a prude, but uh, speed limits are for a reason. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I see a little bit. But when you're going through a neighborhood like this, there's no point. Mateo, come on. Come on. There's no reason to be speeding. I don't, you know. I think that's really why they left the potholes as long as they did. So if anybody was, they would destroy their suspension. So, in case I'm not clear, it's this guy right here. Normally he changes. Love the look of this guy. Feel bad for it. I'm surprised they haven't cut him down. This one still gets leaves, but this one, I mean, you got two branches that get leaves. <laughs> Called it. Alrighty, we got the princess out. We got to see Ruby. Mateo and I did. Yes, we did. You don't have to worry about it. She went in, buddy. It was funny because she was laying in the living room. I was like, Ruby! And she came out to me. <laughs> oh, she's such a happy dog. Oh, this one can be. Yay, Tingle! Right, we're going to do the bottom, check the mail, and then angel hair pasta for dinner. We're going to do lasagna, but neither one of us really felt that well a little bit ago. So I felt pretty lethargic. Well, I ate something and I feel a lot better. I tried to short walk this for the dog and she's going down the hill. I still got to check the mail, kid. I think they do. So, well, I need to do something else. I need to make another deposit.